Hello my fellow humans and welcome back to another Daily Dice where we ask a dice for a message and find out what that is. Keeping in mind that these are general readings so take what resonates, leave what does not. Knowing that as you interact with the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing it does allow me an opportunity to directly connect with your energy and get you out more resonant readings. Also, if you are interested in supporting the channel further, check out the description box below. You'll find all the links necessary in order to do so. You may email me for a personal reading and I'll get you out further information from there. You can also follow me on over to my podcast at Scatter Love Radio, which is just a fun, chill hangout session with yours truly. I am about to start season two, but I am taking a week off from it. So if you notice, there's a week in between the podcast. That's why. But I do hope to see you over there and just know that you do have all of season one that you can check out as well. So I'm super excited. New things happening over there. Memberships are now up and live, so if you're wondering out more about those, you will see a join button down below where the subscribe button is or used to be. If you click on that, it will show you the levels I have available as well as the options that come with each level. With that, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to find out what is today's daily dice in regards to career source. What messages would you like to tell my fellow humans in regards to career What's going on in the Daily Dice in regards to career source? What would you like to come through? Rolling. Okay, so we've got the fifth house. We've got Mars energy and we've got Scorpio. And this is pretty synchronistic too with Mars and Scorpio because Scorpio used to be ruled by Mars before they knew that planet Pluto was a thing. Okay, so we've got that coming through. Let me put my block up here. All right, get this in here. Yeah, okay, so what's going on in career? Is there going to be someone that asks you out? Because that's what it feels like. For some, that's kind of a specific message for some. But for others, this is more or less like learning how to lean into what it is that you really love. What brings you joy? What brings your spirit out? What lets you self-express? Like, what lets you be who you want to be? And then are you ready to take that next step to going into that? Right? Because Scorpio is all about being driven and passionate and wise and determinate and determined and transforming your life, looking for what's truthful for yourself, looking for what matters to yourself, restructuring the things that weren't working for you, coming to an end and thus beginning something new. Right? Letting it go. With Mars, we have that energy of taking action. Right? Again, with passion, 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 passion. Something here that's a passion for you. You better be doing it, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you, you better be going after that passion. You deserve to. You deserve to embody and embrace that passion. Like You deserve to be doing what it is that you love to do. But sometimes it takes that big bang type of energy in order to get there. You know, Mars is a very aggressive energy. Like Mars isn't just sitting around and hoping and praying that life is going to work out one day. Mars is one about getting it done, right? Mars is all about getting it done. And they're going to. Just a second. No, go the other way, fly. There. <laughs> Had a fly stuck in the screen in the window. It's so weird when they do that. Like, they just don't know what's going on. That's what it feels like. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Why are you, why are you letting yourself stay stuck? That's the question they're asking here. Because it is ourselves. We think there is no option or opportunity for us to grow or to go beyond that or to do what it is that we want to do. But in reality, there is, right? We have plenty of options available to us. They might not be the options that we like. But they are options nonetheless. Let's get some oracles out here and see what comes through for you. Yeah, open to the infinite possibility with 59 and starfish spirit on the bottom here. You have so many possibilities around you. You have so many things that you could potentially be doing or get into. But you have to be willing to take that next step. Right? You have to want to take that next step. And sometimes it's okay. Like, it's okay if you're not ready. I get that, right? Sometimes there's a lesson there. We have precarious here. 
There have been a lot of ups and downs with your finances, money coming in fast and going out just as quickly. Fast changes regarding money or unexpected uh, turn of finances. But I also feel like this is pointing at that you've been very precarious on your journey. Like you haven't wanted to change things because of that. Too many ups and downs. Too many ups and downs. What am I going to do with that? Right? So go back to learning more. Learning more about your passion. Always be open to being a student. Right? Work with a mentor to learn new skills or teach you how to implement your plans. You could be in school or to pursue higher education or work for a school district. Teach yourself to succeed with money or get a financial advisor to teach you. Okay, so it's important that you are focusing on these aspects that you can bring into your life. If money is going out as fast as it's coming in, how can you change that? We have frozen here. There may be a hiring freeze or new work. Being aloof can leave you out in the cold. A warm up follow up, a warm follow up gets you in the door. So don't be so cold and distant here, right? Again, these two energies go hand in hand. Right? Being too overly cautious will keep you from gaining traction where you want to gain some traction at. Okay, they want one more of these. What else would you like to say here, Source? Okay, wow. Thank you. On the bottom, ending. You may be leaving a position or be terminated. However, there's always new opportunity ahead. You may change careers entirely. Yeah, so it does feel like that's what I was getting. It's there's like some sort of ending here and not to not to freak out. It can be very scary, right? It can be so scary like if things suddenly end or if like you get laid off or terminated or something along those lines. Like that's scary. I've been there, right? I've been there. I understand that. But you know what? If I hadn't have gone through all those hardships, I remember I got I got let go of two jobs and it wasn't actually my fault. Of course, that's what everybody says, right? No, but it wasn't. It was because I had an issue with the one of the managers. Anyways, the story is long and it's detailed and it doesn't need to be brought up. But I had some issues because I was always the person who figured out things really quickly. And I'm a leader. And when I realized that, I understood that there was a lot of authority people who had a problem with me being a leader. Because I would lead everybody in the job like they would just immediately trust me and it wasn't something that I went out of my way to do it's just something that naturally happened right but I realized that if I hadn't been let go of those positions I would never have been able to take on what it is that I take on now and that is something that's such a huge blessing but it's years later right and it's like all that time it was stressful and it was overwhelming but if I had known that that was opening me up to the truth of who I was and the job of my dreams right the career of my dreams the position of my dreams I would I would go back and tell my younger self hey chill out it's okay you're gonna get to where you need to go so it's always telling ourselves what would we do if we knew our prayers were all answered because they are answered we just have to open ourselves up to faith it doesn't make it easy it is simple but it doesn't make it easy right so remembering not to leave yourself out in the cold or be cold shoulder here because of fear okay so we've got look look spirit has your back Source coming in like, I got you, Becky. Don't you worry about it. I'm about to show them. I got you. <laughs> exactly what I was talking about. Things are working out for you. It's not happening to you. It's happening for me. But that's a mindset that one needs to practice to really gain traction in their life. Ooh, look, we have designer. You're being called to tune into your individuality and express yourself. A career in fashion, art, or any artistic endeavor could be just for you. Get creative with your finances. Perhaps it is time to discover a new talent. So again, there's this energy coming in to be very cautious of your finances right now. Like, don't overspend. You know, it's okay to say no to the things that you would normally say yes to. It's like only take care of the necessities, the bills that you have to pay. Don't, you know, eat out too much. Don't go party too much. Don't go drink too much. Like all these things can be put on hold while you take time to figure out where it is that you want to go. Remember, you can set yourself up with success knowing that things might not work out for the best where you're at right now, but it will be in your best interest, okay? 
Okay, so we have shedding. You are starting to outgrow your work situation. You need to set higher goals and standards. You work well in healing and medicine. Okay, so we've got designer becoming a student, healing and medicine. So there's a lot of energies coming through here, but they're saying here, it's like there's none of these are talking about you're doing exactly what you're meant to be doing. Like there's an energy of coming coming through here of it's okay to expand your horizons. Okay, look, expression. You need work that lets you express your creative self. You could do well at writing, blogging, or a career in communication. Expression. Moving on. Don't be so cold right here. Communicate what you want. Writing. These are all beautiful things. So if this is, if you've been looking for a sign, this is your sign. Okay, you're getting the green light to change if that's what you've been feeling called to do. This is your green light. All right, so this is what I see for you. I'm actually going to leave it there. This is a pretty profound message. And overall, it's actually a really good message, even though there is some fear factor that's coming with it. Open yourself up to trusting in the process and you will feel so much better, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here. I do want to take a quick second, though, to thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my guides for giving us this beautiful message. If you feel like this is your message and your reading, then leave a little feather down below and say, I trust in the process and I release fear to let source know you're calling in this higher energy. Leave me a thumbs up. But until next time, stay human. Bye.